What's up, family? I'm JB Black CEO, and welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0 out here in America. And I'm trying to figure out who we to turn in their goals to the nearest BP out here in America. Let's make sure the volume up out here. See the title? Yeah, we're still dealing with the Shankola Robinson case out here in America, down here in North Carolina, New York, LA, Cali, South Carolina, you name it. Uh, Tacoma, Washington, Connecticut, New Jersey, you name it, name it, name it. You know what I'm saying? Still dealing with what we saw, what the world saw, what happened to Shankula Robinson. What is it? October 29th, 2022 in St. Lucas, Cabo, Mexico. Excuse me if I said it wrong, but other than that, we're about to unpack that and see who need to turn in their balls because guess what? Ain't nobody been arrested yet. Let's roll. Truth and not the damn juice. Listen. Lion Dan, you ready? Let's bring the truth and not the damn juice. Listen. What's up? I'm JB Black CEO, and welcome to Black CEO Media 2.0 out here in America. If you got interest in the Shankula Robinson case, uh, trying to follow the case or been following the case, or just, you know what I'm saying, emotions wrapped up in the case and trying to stay up to date with the case, you're at the right place here. Black CEO Media 2.0. Make sure you subscribe, hit like, hit that notification button. So when I go live or drop a video, you'll get the notification, and I'm going to bring you the truth. And not the damn juice out here in America, though. So make sure you go ahead and do those two or three things right there and join the Lion Den out here in America, though. I'm going to just freestyle and we're freestyle and we're freestyle with our emotions, though. Uh, Shankula Robinson got my pennant right there when I went to the, to the, uh, you know, to her first rally down at the church downtown. What's that, uh, Charlotte? Shankula Robinson um, stole hearts. Um, it raised emotions. I think it hit in November. Was that October, November, around the first, around the middle, second week of November? That's when everybody around, I'm gonna say around the world, uh, and in this country, you know what I'm saying, whites, black, Asians, America, you name it, you know what I'm saying? I was eyes and attention was drawn to the Shankula Robinson case, October 29th, 2022, uh, St. Lucas Cabo. In the villa, the infamous video come out where Quilla is being jumped on, uh, beaten, taunted, you know, something I never seen in my life. You know, to see a young lady with no clothes on being taunted, uh, beat, and just disrespected, and, and, and it was just horrible. And people sat back and watched. Um, I got a still picture I'm gonna put up here because we're gonna keep it fresh. And uh, our sister is blurred out, but we need the world not to forget about this. This is a picture where our sister's bleared out with aggressive, uh, aggressor Desiree Jackson, a.k.a. Oxnees, what the community name is, young lady, uh, beat, uh, beat and beat and beat Shankula Robinson. Shankula Robinson from Charlotte, North Carolina, young lady, uh, is pretty popular, you know, her age group, cool, you know what I'm saying? And for some strange reason, a setup was set up, you know, some type of setup was set up. To, uh, to embarrass her, as we see, we heard what the little boys back there saying, yo, will it at least fight back, you know, and um, the alleged but, uh, friend, Khalil Cook, you can see him in there, you can see the beard, and that's Khalil Cook sounding with that weak little skinny voice. If you go listen to the other video, the young man, what a blogger put out, listen to his voice and listen to, come back and listen to these vocals right there where he on the boat talking, ah, thank you, that's him. Why she not fighting back? Why would Khalil Cook ask Shankula Robinson not to fight back? Oh, Quilla done something. Maybe Quilla Dale done something, and they feel she need to be beaten. So you mean to tell me this one young lady will do something that affects six people where you sit back and watch her get beaten? You know, oh, she videoed something with the phone. She made too much money. She got more money. She handled her business. She talked too much. She got a video on her phone. Why don't you take the phone and leave her in Mexico breathing? 
See, I had the answer for that, you know? Well, hey, you know, and some people may not know how to call it. They said, hey, maybe it was some type of video with somebody who's being compromised and, you know, but I have the answer for it. Take her phone and come back to America and deal with her family and friends when you get there. At least she's living, okay? That's the smart, intelligent thing to do. Not saying Shanquilla Robinson did anything. I ain't saying she did anything, but if that narrative come up, and something was in her phone, from my understanding. Quilla, let me get the phone. I ain't giving you my phone, and, and, and maybe they take the phone, or or I'm just saying that scenario, if someone was in a, a little funky compromising position, you know, from my understanding. Maybe Malik, and maybe Khalil Cook. I don't know. Maybe some type of compromising position, or somebody got mad, though. But guess what? I got the simple answer to that story right there. Take her phone, and going on back to America. She's still living. You still living, everybody's still breathing, okay? But these are the type of things that some people, moms, ain't taught them. You know what I'm saying? This is the stuff that some people, dads, ain't taught them, though. So when we come with that scenario, I got the answer for it. You should have just took the phone. If she did something, which I'm, I'm not saying Shaquilla did, take the phone and go on. That's a mature, uh, safe fences frame of thinking right there. And then you have the other little boy that come and say, I wasn't there, but when he got there before the nurse came, this guy was no help at all. This guy go in the bathroom, there's your Wiggins, and tell the world, we don't know what he been through. Not what Quilla been through, but what he been through. This guy is talking like he's gonna been whipped without his underwear on. Ooh, that's your Wiggins. He come in the bathroom, not worrying about Quilla. I tried to help her ass, okay? He not finna get stuck in Mexico. Nobody had no regards, you know? My friend of nine years, I'll be concerned. I'll be concerned about her parents. Her mom, her dad, the friends, some people in her family that I probably know due to the fact I've been knowing her for nine years. And it just wouldn't sit right with me to see my female friend of nine years when I look on a video or if I'm there seeing her being beat with no clothes on. And Khalil Cookie Cook over there, baby powder. Why is she not fighting back? And then you got Plex over here, you know, hey, you at least fight back. And Quilla said, no, there was no fight. There was no fight. Okay, there was no fight, no F I G H T. There was no fight. Quilla said no. Quilla didn't say yeah. Quilla didn't say yes. And somewhere in there, you know, makes you feel like it was a setup. It was a setup. They said it wasn't. But when you give it to the community, you can't you can't take a cup of piss and throw it in my face, pour it on my leg or whatever, and think that I ain't gonna know what it is. Next thing you know, I have to take your balls. We move in front of you because you're not. Gonna piss on my leg saying, hey, that is raining out here in America. Because, see, we was in America minding our damn business out here. Us blacks, whites, Asians, or whatever, trying to get it right, marching and doing marches and wearing masks and all of this stuff. Inflation, mayonnaise, it's like 10 damn dollars out here in America. And they over there thinking they Atlanta housewives or something out here in America, not Quiller or little gangsters or whatever, or either just damn thinking uh, that they are the bum, though. But we saw how that turned out with the Cabo Six girls in Greensboro, North Carolina, on May 10th, 2023 of this year. I think that was like two weeks after the Justice Department said, nah, ain't nothing there. Desiree Jackson, one year later, hasn't been arrested. Desiree Jackson, one year later, hasn't been arrested. Hmm, who is that? Oxley's. That's the young lady that's assaulting Shanquilla. That's the young lady that's assaulting Shanquilla right there that has a warrant in Mexico. Somebody need to pick her up, put her on the airplane and drop her off right there at the at the police department over there. Okay, not telling everybody to go out and get her or whatever, but this young lady needs to be in jail. The young lady with the femicide or whatever the side charge needs to be in jail for assault. But the feds, as we know, say, hey, there's nothing there. Uh, we're not going to charge and all of this stuff and, and let them walk around in America, which no deal. They're not going to walk around America all peaceful. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be honest with you because there's probably some people out there want to do some type of street justice to their out here in America. So I don't know how that's going for them out here. I ain't promoting that. I'm just saying probably, in my opinion, Desiree Jackson needs to be locked up, kneecaps, feet, the whole nine. That little blue outfit she had on, May 10th, down in Greensboro, North Carolina, at Electra Tequila, sent her back to Mexico with that on, okay? It don't matter. Just send her back one year later, okay? Here it is. What was it? 
They went over there October 28, 2022. And here it is, going to be October 29th, shortly here, a year later, no arrests, no arrests. Now, a couple of them can about have street justice out here in America, and it made people feel a little bad out here in America. Like, okay, you got a hat that was taken, you know, after around and found out, and you seen some wigs, and you seen get pulled off out here dealing with the uh, Shaquilla Robinson case. I ain't even going to, well, I ain't even going to say it's dealing with it, but you yeah, know what happened in the parking lot down there in Greensboro, North Carolina with the Cabo Six, where the Cabo little clown ladies went out there, and it didn't go right. Shaquilla Robinson needs justice. It's most likely going to come. It's going to come. It may be a little slow. It's going to take a little time, but it's coming. You cannot do nothing like that right there. Put it on video of intent to hurt and intentional like that. It's one thing if the person or he or she done something wrong. Okay, cool. Whoop de whoop. All this extra stuff, nah, God don't like that, okay? God don't like ugliness, and he don't like ugliness. He don't like ugliness out here in America. The Cabo Six Monsters, bro, you, you seals your fate. If you got kids, you seals your fate. Somebody else's family member, Malik Dyer, has a daughter. Some people get upset with it, but Mr. Robinson has a daughter, too, which is Shanquilla. Robinson out here in America. I'm going to put that picture up there real quick. Like I say, it's going to be one year since the infamous uh, video was shared, you know what I'm saying, by the Cabo Six Monsters, thinking it was cute and funny and everything. And you remember how the video started off right there, telling Quilla, come on, let's go. I'm tired of your stuff. And, you know, the young lady started attacking Shanquilla Robinson from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, these, these evil Cabo Six people, went on vacation with this young lady from my understanding the young lady quilla paid for most of the trip and that's a damn shame out here in america when you look over there with it they are unappreciative you know what i'm saying if a person like that done something wrong that ain't good enough where they treating you to a villa in mexico come on man come on but anyway mexico need to go back and charge every last one of these people uh for uh safe fences refusing shankwilla robinson um, medical attention were over in Mexico on their grounds. I'm going to put that up as we take it out. Friends call for medical help after 2 p.m. Sam Robinson had drunk a lot and doctor said friends refused to send Robinson to the hospital. That's five more ones that they need to put out there and tell America, at least something, hey, you need to do something because when we go back over our police report and everything, these people, these Americans refuse her. We get the autopsy. We understand the top three went right and all this, but look, we want to put papers on these people because they refuse this young lady. And it said that this young lady went into cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest? I guess that's a heart attack, okay? That is a heart attack. This young lady had a heart attack, went into cardiac arrest, okay? I thought I'd come through on this Friday and uh, keep our sister's spirit alive and put it out there. Hey, what these people did. And it's one year later that there has been no arrest in the case of Shankola Robinson case. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, how you feeling? You know, I know people, it's just like this just happened yesterday out here in America. To me, it seemed like it's been months. It seemed like it's been a minute, you know, and it's sad that it's a year, you know, going over this case, watching this case, it seemed like it's taking forever. To me, it feel like it's already three years going to by, okay? Like, man, what in the hell? But we we'll wait on God, God's speed. It's always going to be on time. And we'll sit back and wait. So other than that, I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure you subscribe, hit like, and hit that notification button. So when I do go live, drop a video dealing with Sam Quilla Robinson or any other case, you'll get that notification. And I'm going to bring you the truth and not the damn juice. I'm out. Get your helicopters. Lion Dan, you ready? Let's bring the truth and not the damn juice. Listen.